So, so much of what we wrote about here at Bloomberg during the pandemic and, and elsewhere, I know other journalists too, was about people getting back into the labor market and getting jobs. But now it seems like because inflation is so high, we're now starting to talk about potentially people losing their jobs and moving into a recessionary period. We've been seeing headlines even just this morning about job losses in tech, for example. Bloomberg Economics actually is forecasting 100% chance of a recession in the next 12 months. What is your forecast for where we end up in terms of unemployment by the end of next year? Yeah, so I think um, it's, it's very difficult um, to give firm projections uh, because this is a very unusual labor market. So the pandemic uh, led to um, a lot of departures from in-person services in particular. And if you look at hiring data, you can still see pretty healthy hiring um, in some of those in-person services where um, some uh, businesses are still trying to catch up um, to uh, levels of employment that may be appropriate for um, the kind of the run rate that they're seeing. Um, but it is the case that as rates uh, move uh, further into restrictive territory, you know, and financial conditions uh, remain tight, that does exert some uh, restraint on demand um, to bring demand into better alignment with supply. And so you will see some reallocation. Now, vacancies are unusually high relative to uh, unemployment. And that does suggest, for the reasons um, that we were just talking about, this sort of catch-up hiring, there's some chance that we'll see more of a diminution in those vacancies rather than putting as much emphasis on layoffs. But it's likely there'll be a combination of both. Um, and so we'll just be watching the labor market as well as inflation very carefully uh, as we go forward.